Recently, my friend Lindsay and I visited this diner near me for a very normal lunch. We were just in the area, and I got a roast beef sandwich, which was kind of a beast in its own right. They're certainly not shy with the condiments over there, but as I was reading the menu, I remembered that this specific place, the Mount Kisco Diner, is kind of an Instagram viral sensation. You may have even scrolled past some of their stuff before. Between their full-on deep-fried wraps, some of these burgers, whoever created this menu could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with many of the TikTok creators we've been covering on the channel recently. Um, but, but one of the sections in particular really sparked my excitement. They had a ton of insane looking pancake options and even though I couldn't eat half of them because of my allergies, it made me realize I haven't done a pancake video in forever and how there's just endless possibilities and variations of the very humble pancake. So today we're gonna be going on a pancake journey throughout the depths of the internet and seeing whose creation takes the cake, so let's get right into this one. Prior to diving straight into a pregnant woman's deepest, darkest cravings, I wanted to get a baseline, somewhat of a control, just a really good, straight up American pancake. And who better than Joshua Weissman to deliver on that? I grabbed some sugar and milk, AP flour and salt, baking powder, unsalted butter, one egg, and some baking soda. I don't think this one necessitates too much explaining. I mixed the two wet ingredients, I mixed up the dry stuff, combined them together, and then cook them off. Unlike a lot of other foods that will always be good if you dump enough sugary crap on top of it, I feel like pancakes might be a little bit of an exception, meaning that no amount of sugary cereal or cinnamon drizzle will be able to cover like a shitty, dense, flavorless pancake. In my opinion, it has to be light and fluffy on the inside. It's gotta have that beautiful golden color on each side. If you're lucky, maybe a little bit of those crispy, buttery edges. A healthy drizzling of your favorite type of syrup. Maybe a little pat of butter on there. And these guys are looking like they're gonna deliver on every aspect we've just mentioned. So let's get this thing started. Well, did I just um, douse these in very fake artificial syrup? I did. Do I care about what any of your opinions are? No, I don't. I may have said this before, but I think by far my favorite part of a pancake and also the most underrated is those crispy edges. They're so good, they provide such a nice contrast. And I'm pretty sure that just comes from um, having enough fat in the pan. So they kind of crisp up, almost fry in the pan. But the rest of these are very good too. These are just about as good as a plain pancake can be. They're fluffy. I could use a little more salt or just something additionally going on, some buttermilk. But I'd be happy with these for any breakfast, for any meal, really. Um, but now is where things start to get a bit more exciting. Next up is a pancake that I feel like has been on my list for forever. It is back on our good old buddy Tasty's channel. And they are the vegan cinnamon roll pancakes. I grabbed some flour and kosher salt, ground cinnamon and soy milk, light brown sugar and maple syrup, some vegan butter and powdered sugar, baking powder, and a little bit of water. We're only on pancake number two, and this is already becoming exponentially more work. Um, then the last one, it comes together in four main components. You've got, of course, your dry and wet ingredients. But then you have your buttery cinnamon roll filling mixture that I'm just gonna throw in a little piping bag to make my life a bit easier. And then, of course, the glaze that is going to sub in for the maple syrup on our flat, circular cinnamon roll cakes. And very similarly to the last one, I mixed together the soy milk and the maple syrup. I mixed up all the dry stuff and then added the wet into the dry. Well, I guess that's when you know you've been doing this too long, because I had no idea I did these already. I guess this one's a retest. Um, to be fair, the last time I did it was 2018, so we're going on nearly six years ago. I did an okay job. Um, my cinnamon swirl could have been a little cleaner. Also, that very clearly chipped up dollar store Teflon pan 
was screaming to be replaced. Watching that video back, I don't know why I was such a critic. Um, I was very hard on Tasty. I guess um, nothing's changed too much. Although I did like the pancakes. I said um, it was very creative. I liked the flavor, so let's see if they still hold up and see how they compare to my elevated palate and today's current standards. There were countless jokes and memes I could have said um, throughout the preparation of this one, but I refrained, and I hope you're all proud of me. Mmm, these are so damn good. Talk about crispy pancakes. That sugar that has almost caramelized around the edges of um, where I piped it, it's to die for. It's like crispy pancake cinnamon roll candies. The pancake itself is amazing. It's got great flavor. I would never suspect it was made with like non-dairy alternative ingredients. It smells unbelievable. It smells like you're passing a Cinnabon in a mall in 2006. Mm. I highly, highly recommend you give this a shot. And if it wasn't for me having to eat two more types of pancakes, I would have devoured this entire plate. And lastly today is potentially one of the greatest strokes of genius I've ever seen in my life from the website The Simple Sweet Life. They are the tiramisu pancakes. I grabbed some flour, butter, heavy cream and brandy, some milk and instant espresso, vanilla extract, baking powder, an egg, some powdered sugar, mascarpone cheese, and some chocolate syrup. If there's one thing I've learned whilst attempting to make tiramisu in my life, it is to not overmix that goddamn mascarpone. I have ruined so many tubs of that expensive stuff. Because once you whip up the heavy cream, powdered sugar, and espresso, until you get somewhere between soft and firm peaks, um, you have to give the mascarpone a bit of a whisk too. Literally, just to smooth this out and aerate it a tinge, this can break so easily and become all curdled and basically useless. I think this one eight ounce container was like $12, so this stuff does not run cheap. Be very careful with it. Also, a quick little side note, for a lot of videos this year, I wanna do stuff that is brand new. I wanna do stuff that I've never heard of before. Uh, tiramisu pancakes was a great start. So if there's a trend or a recipe on any platform or a new menu item at a restaurant somewhere, please leave it down in the comments. Let's try to get me to branch out a little bit this year. I will admit that the pancake batter portion of this is um, rather unremarkable. It's just another standard mix of butter, eggs, milk, flour. Although I noticed it didn't really want to come together in the same way the other ones did. It was incredibly watery, but maybe that was intentional. Maybe we we're going for thinner pancakes here, although I don't think we're going for hamburger helper mascot shaped pancakes. Or like a baseball glove shape of some sort. These were coming out very bizarrely. Even the ones that stayed circular. I've never seen like frizzled edges like this, but they're getting nice and crispy and seemingly cooked through all the way, so one by one, I stacked them up, alternating with plenty of my tiramisu cream, a whole healthy heaping of the chocolate syrup. I do usually try to keep the best for last in videos like this. Not that it always works out that way, but let's just say I'm thinking this one has the potential to do so. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Well, I was trying to start my summer diet. Holy crap, is this to die for? I didn't think I was gonna love the, um, the pancakes with how thin and uh, seemingly lack of fluffiness they had. It doesn't matter. They're perfect. They still have the crispy edges. They're just fluffy enough for you to identify like what they are and not get it confused with a crepe. But that super espresso-y cream mixed with the bitter and sweet chocolate. My God, I mean, this is just something else. I can't stop eating it. If you are a tiramisu fan or a pancake fan or even a chocolate fan, you need to try this. This is amazing. It's one of the best things I've ever made. I don't think I'm exaggerating.
without the AD Put the burgers in my money, super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my A-team Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision